Good old morning vibes. Welcome back. So I left you guys when I arrived at this camping spot late last night and now I now I'm leaving. So I am planning to explore the rest of Washington today, finish up everything that we have to see. And we're, this might be the last day we spend a full day in Washington. Tomorrow I enter Idaho and then after that uh, we might be friggin' heading off to Montana. Who knows? It's all about that van life, you know, that traveling life. We definitely need to see what the hell this is about. <laughs> I love all the odd roadside attractions. Windmill Garden. So literally, this is a garden with a thousand different windmills. The things you see, life on the road. Windmill Garden, okay. What is that? Donation, you can make a donation. And they have these, what are those, the power conductor things? I don't I don't know, whatever you call them, but uh, yeah, they have those set up as the entrance, which it is locked. You can't actually, unfortunately, I don't think you could go into Windmill Gardens as much as I'd like to. See objective one today, just right on to stop. Like I was researching places to check out and I seen this on Google. It's like, I definitely got to see it. I'd say quite interesting looking. A lot of different windmills. None of them are moving right now, which I'd be curious if you go, when it is windy, would you see them move or are they just more for looks rather than functionality? Drive shaft, what you doing? Well, I'm no mechanic, but I know this shouldn't. Damn, <laughs> that sucks. It is hot as hell right now. It's 85 degrees. I got uh, AAA. They're coming to pick me up. Gonna tow the Suzuki. To, I guess in a way I could disconnect the rear drive shaft and dr drive with only the front one But you know, I got some free towing so freaking why not use it and get this problem fixed Saying goodbye to the Suzuki Goodbye So I called AAA they had the tow truck come out, which it was like 20 minutes, that's it. So they were able to get the Suzuki loaded up. They dropped it off at the mechanic shop, which the uh, tow truck driver recommended going to. So I went to that mechanic shop, dropped the Suzuki off, and I was researching hotels. I was like, okay, so I'm gonna have to get a hotel. That's how I was gonna do it. But then I was watching a Camping with Steve episode, and Steve camped in a U-Haul event, the same one as this, and he did it overnight for 19.95. <laughs> anything too crazy because it's a van so i have this paved road and this sign it says no camping next five miles but it does not state that you're not allowed to camp right next to the no camping sign prior to the next five miles which meant i say hey this isn't a bad place to camp i forgot something very important i don't have any lighters which means all the food i brought i even kept out my camping stove I don't know what I'm going to cook. Maybe I'll eat some dried top ramen. <laughs> Damn it! This is the camp design. This is what I'm thinking. I put my memory foam down. I could sleep on that. Look at all that space. It's not so bad. <laughs> this is it. All right, so supposedly down this road lies a creek. I wanna see this creek. 
Got our nice camping spot with the van. Oh, what the hell? This is what I'm camping next to? Who left the tent? Oh, this is straight up sketch. It looks like someone's just up and disappeared just out of nowhere. Their towel still hanging up. The tent.